We're back now at 741 in this morning on our series, Secret Filth Exposed, a disturbing look at the germs being spread around you and your family. According to experts, something that's in your home that's supposed to get things clean can actually be a hotbed for dangerous bacteria. And today's Jenna Wolf is here with the dirty details. That sounds weird, but <laughs> welcome. Good morning. Anyway, hey, yeah. Matt, good morning. To you. Yeah, we're talking about vacuum cleaners. Well, it does clean the dirt and the dust and the debris off your floors. It also can spread filthy germs all around your house, germs that could make you and your kids extremely sick. With a five-year-old, three-year-old, I need this. And two-year-old always at play, Erin Bellissimo and her husband Dean are obsessed with keeping their floors clean. Their hands are in everything, so you're constantly worried about doing the best you can to get the germs down. I'm vacuuming the house basically twice a week, top to bottom. I don't like seeing masses. But when it comes to vacuuming, it's what you can't see that may be the problem. Basically, it becomes a transport system for microorganisms in your home. Charles Gerba is a nationally renowned microbiologist who studied germs on vacuum cleaners. Recently, he tested brush rolls from 30 different home vacuums and found many of them harbored disease-causing bacteria. It was quite surprising. We found fecal bacteria on more than half of the bristles, and more than 10% of the bristles actually had E. coli on them. Gerba says your vacuum easily picks up these germs from floors, contaminated by everything from your shoes. Hey, Mom, check out Tony's new trick. To yes, even your pets, as shown in this carpet cleaner ad. Toby! Make him stop! All laughs aside, once this bacteria gets on your vacuum bristles, it feeds off food crumbs and other waste and quickly multiplies. Vacuum cleaners really become meals on wheels for bacteria. And every time you vacuum, you could be spreading this filth all over your house. Gerba showed us how with this simulation. First, he brushed a fluorescent powder on the edge of this carpet to simulate a hotbed of germs. Next, he vacuumed it up, then continued over a clean part of the rug. In just a few passes, it becomes contaminated with the same germs, a serious health concern if you have small kids. The concern here is if there's E. coli bacteria, salmonella bacteria, or viruses that cause diarrhea, they can pick them up when they're playing on the carpeting, get them on their fingers, and bring them right to their mouth. But in a home as clean as the Bellissimos, just how contaminated would their vacuum be? To find out, we bagged up their vacuum attachments and sent them to our expert, who tested the bristles for disease-causing germs. What he found alarmed even him. All of them had E. coli on them, and all of them had uh, different types of fecal bacteria on them. Gerba says the Bellissimo's bristles were so contaminated, they had up to 100 times more bacteria than a public toilet seat. Germs their vacuum could be spreading to every room in the house. Our test found that bacteria on your bristles can cause diarrhea, intestinal infections, urinary tract infections, even pneumonia. How do you feel about this? I'm shocked. I can't believe that. I can't believe it. After our wake up call, the Bellissimos say their rugrats are going to have some new rules. They're certainly not going to have snacks sitting on the rug watching a movie. Stoky. When they're done playing, we'll wash their hands like they do when they go to the bathroom. And wash and wash and wash. Experts say this can be a problem in any home with any kind of vacuum cleaner. So to reduce the spread of germs, avoid wearing shoes in your house. Avoid the foot traffic and make sure to wash your kids' hands after they play on the floor. Do not stop vacuuming. Experts say it helps remove many bad contaminants and allergens from your home.